It was described as a horrific scene on February 24th, 2023. Just before 2 p.m. on Depla Street off of Highway 90 in Couples Road, 81-year-old Ramon Najera and his wife were getting out of their car to visit a friend when three loose dogs attacked them. Neighbors tried to help. When firefighters arrived, they found Najera being dragged by one of the dogs. Firefighters had to fight them off with pickaxes and pike poles so they could treat the victims. This is not something normal for us. We usually don't show up and have to defend uh, patients from animals or ourselves. The dogs also attacked Nakira's wife, bit a fire captain in the leg, and another person in the hand. Horrific scene, uh, horrific for the people that experienced this, and uh, again, horrific for our firefighters that were um, a part of this. Nakira later died of his injuries. The three dogs were detained and euthanized. Their owners, Christian Moreno and Abilene Schneider, were later arrested and charged with dangerous dog attack resulting in death and injury to the elderly. The fallout from this tragedy continued in the days after, as Animal Care Services said the three dogs had previously been impounded by the shelter for another attack and that the animal shelter had received calls over the last two years from neighbors regarding the dogs. It was also revealed that San Antonio police had been called to Moreno and Schneider's home more than a hundred times in two years for different types of disturbances. As the case went through the criminal justice system, after the two were indicted, the defense shifted blame to ACS. In a hearing in February, the defense filed a motion to have charges dismissed because the dogs had a history of aggression. These two killing machines uh, had a history. They, they just weren't convinced enough that they were going to begin the process of determining through a hearing that they were determined officially, I guess, dangerous. And, and that is the problem here. The hearing revealed that the dogs had twice been investigated, once in 2021 and again just a month before the deadly attack after they bit someone in the knee and shoulder. ACS explained the bite was considered moderate and legally they had to return the dogs to their owners after 10 days. That same hearing resumed in April and Schneider took the stand to explain that ACS had the dogs spayed and neutered and only required to pay a $200 fee to get them out and gave no further instruction. I asked every person I spoke to that day, what else do I need to do? And they didn't tell me nothing. Judge Velia Mesa ruled on the motion in August and denied it, which meant the case would be heading to trial. But the week a jury was to be picked, the couple unexpectedly pleaded guilty. So what's next? The punishment phase begins September 9th, and just like a trial, each side will put up witnesses. Judge Mesa will be the one to decide punishment. Some of those witnesses we can probably expect, Nakira's wife Juanita, first responders, eyewitnesses, and ACS employees. KSAT will be live streaming the punishment phase on all our platforms. Testimony is expected to last all week, and then sentencing will then take place on September 20th. The defendants are asking for probation, but the state is asking for 20 years in prison. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.